Since the Phoenix Cardinals moved to the Valley of the Sun, they've had only three sellout games. But tonight, they'll have a record crowd as over 73,000 will be on hand. The game being billed as the biggest contest in their six-year history in Phoenix. The Cards hoping to establish some credibility with a win as they play host to the defending world champion, Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys trying to make it six in a row over the Phoenix Cardinals. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Bender. The Super Bowl champion Cowboys at 0-2 are a very disturbed team. They got a big emotional lift this Thursday when Emmett Smith gave up his 63-day holdout to become the highest-paid running back in the National Football League, and this Cowboy team is ecstatic about his return. And now, Pat Hayden, with number 22 back in the fold, there's no more distractions, no more excuses for not winning football games. Well, Gary, when you think about it, these really should be the best of times for the Dallas Cowboys. Coming off a of Super Bowl win, a very young football team, they weren't ravaged by free agency, but it has been a tumultuous start of the season for them. But as you mentioned, Emmitt Smith is back. Now, he won't start tonight, Jimmy Johnson told us, but it's funny, as we get closer to the game, Jimmy Johnson is, is, is kind of hedging his bets about playing him more and more. Yesterday he said to us, hey, I'm really worried about getting him injured. I'd like not to play him at all because we have a bye next week. But he says I may insert him late in the second quarter and then in the second half. But regardless of the fact that whether he's here or not, the real reason the Cowboys are 0-2 is turnovers. They have had eight turnovers this year, including six fumbles. They only had nine all of last year. And with or without Emma Smith, you can't turn the ball over that much. Well, Pat, I tell you, in the first two weeks, the Cowboys special teams haven't been special. They have scored zero points at this time of year ago they had registered 16. Well you know if you're a Super Bowl team you've got to be able to win on special teams and they did particularly early last season for the Cowboys. Got off to a great start in their first two games when they began to block punts and you're going to see here a couple of block punts early in the year for the Cowboys. Now the, the, the special teams provided 16 points. This is the, the block against the Giants for a touchdown and then later against the Redskins a, a block punt by Isaac Holt led to a safety and then a man that, that hasn't been talked much about is missing from this team, and that is Kelvin Martin. This is the guy that on free agency went up to Seattle, but returned two punts last year for touchdowns. Now, you see what's happened. 16 points a year ago, none this year, and the two fumbled punts. They do miss Kelvin Martin. Yeah, and both those inside the 30-yard line. Well, the Cardinals have suffered through back-to-back 4-12 -back and 12 seasons. But they signed seven free agents. They had a brilliant draft, and now they think they're ready to step forward in a big way to prove they're a good football team. Well, that's just what Gary Clark, one of those free agents, said to us yesterday. We have to prove we're a good football team. And it really started with a the draft. They had the third pick of the draft, and they drafted Garrison Hurst in that position. Now, the, the Cardinals are hoping that Garrison Hurst can provide the same kind of smart spark that Emmett Smith did early on when he was a, a rookie with the Cowboys. In the first game, he gained three yards. Second game, Game. He gained 76 yards, and they're going to feature him tonight. Joe Bugle says we're going to spoon feed him to the Cowboys. Now, the other part of this new look Cardinals is the free agents. See the Fab Four. Steve Berline will start at quarterback. Cecil, Booty, and Clark. They all come from winning programs, and what they have provided is confidence and an attitude, and that is desperately what this Cardinal team needs. Well, Jimmy Johnson smiling a little bit yesterday in our meetings because number 22, Emmett Smith, is back into the fold. Jimmy Johnson expecting a very physical football game. Last year, his team winning here 16 to 10. And Joe Bugle, well, he has been given an edict that he must win nine games or he will not keep his job. He attempted a career high 45 passes. He's had to carry more of a load because of Emmett being out of there. Great poise, quick release, and so accurate with his throws. He'll start from the 20 as we begin here at Sun Devil Stadium. To the backfield. Play action by Aikman to throw on the first play of the game. Complete to Michael Irvin. He has a first down out to the 37. Make that Alvin Harper. Harper coming up with the catch, a 17-yard gain on the play. Let's look offensively now at the Dallas Cowboys. We mentioned Aikman. Lassick is a guy who's probably as happy as anyone that Emmett Smith is back. We have a man shaken up, by the way, for the Cardinals and Aeneas Williams. Tuine coming off of his best year. Newton and Stepnoski to the Pro Bowl last year for the Dallas Cowboys. 
But Aeneas Williams, who figures so big in this game because he's their best cover guy, is down. Well, well not only that, Gary, that, that's a critical injury because Lorenzo Lynch, their other starting corner, did, is not starting tonight because of a pulled, pulled groin. So right now, when the ball arrives to the receiver, there's going to be a lot of bodies around the ball. And sometimes you can hit your own players. And that's what happened right there. Aeneas Williams got hit by one of his own players, Stowe, number 90, the uh, middle linebacker. comes in motion. Lassick with the ball to the 40. Trying to get outside. He'll be dropped at the 41. Oldham 5. And they will alternate a lot of people. Watch number 98. Eric Swan is soon going to be in the Pro Bowl. Ken Harvey had three sacks a week ago. Now the secondary already having some problems. Williams out of there. And as Pat mentioned, Dexter Davis getting the starting call. Play action again by Aikman. He's got a lot of time. And he's on target. Michael Irvin steps out of bounds of the first down at the 42-yard line of Phoenix. And now to Michael Irvin. Gary Novacek, the tight end in motion. Hand off, straight ahead comes Lassick. Lassick inside the 35 to the 34-yard line. The late handoff to Lassick. He's got the first down, and he's going to be stopped in at the 28-yard line. Chris Oldham up to make the stop. I tell you, another first down. Yeah, he, he is a good runner. He is a good runner, is Lassick. But when he when uh, when you make a mistake on him, he doesn't score a touchdown. I mean, when you make a mistake on Emmett Smith, it costs you six. Now, the lead block by Johnson, number 48, a good lead blocker. He gets stuffed, and then it's number 79, Eric Williams, the right tackle, who threw the other key block downfield. Down from the 28-yard line. Lassick again breaks two tackles play as he is able to get to the 23-yard line. Lassick showing very good quickness. Freddie Joe Nunn there to make the stop. Oh, boys, is they have emerging stars in virtually every Holding. position. Number 61 offense, 10-yard penalty, repeat first down. By week, he is dressed. He's been the starting right guard. First and 20. Aikman. Daryl Johnston, the fullback. The ball comes loose, but I think it's been rolled down and has. Boy, did Johnston take a shot that time from Dexter Davis, but he held on enough for the catch to set it up at the 32. And they're going to create turnovers. That is the whole philosophy of Fritz Shermer's defense. So they get five of those 10 yards back. It's now second and 15. Got a lot of time and sorts everyone out and eventually hits Johnston again and Johnston to the 25-yard line. Third and seven now for Dallas. No score, first drive of the game. Aikman, a little slant inside, and they make it to the 15-yard line, and that'll be enough for the first down. Alvin Harper with his second catch of the game, a 10-yard completion. And Harper, he was the difference at the end of the year last year because he can play quickly, just like Michael Irvin. Big targets on slants. I mean, the Cowboys, uh, with both receivers, have great size in Irvin and Harper. Aikman to Lassick, Lassick to the 10. Boy, they are really mixing it up well. Aikman has not missed a pass. He's 5 of 5. And then he's gone to Lassick to soften him up in the middle. It'll be at the 11-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Johnston to fullback. Johnston didn't carry the ball all that. They use him a lot as a receiver as well as an outstanding blocker, getting the effort there, and it'll go to a third down. Well, once every but the defense has to respond. Third and three now, 8.08 to go in the first quarter. Delayed handoff to Lassick. Lassick's got it. He's got the touchdown. Dallas takes the lead. Daryl Johnston as a receiver and as a lead blocker. Watch number 48, the left part of the screen again. The lead block on the middle linebacker, Walterstead. He cuts inside. And when you throw a lead box like that, your tailback, whether he's a rookie or not, is going to get into the end zone. He has, lead blocks yeah, here. I had he it. has I caught put it the on. ball. What was the not, yards on it? Yeah, I mean, that's another one. I mean, that's another shot. I tell you what, this is exactly what the... Cardinals didn't want to have happen. You know, it has no. said I was just pressing, but he rebounded last week against the Skins. Outstanding leader. He just exudes confidence. He's really made this team believe they can be a winner. He's been a ball 
Alden Reeves in motion. Play action. Burline rolling out. Butch Roll, that's his first catch of the year. He is the H-back, and Butch Roll takes it to the 27-yard line. Hirsch, you're going to see a lot of him. They think he has greatness ahead of him. Clark, the former Redskin, who had a big game last week against his former teammates. Sharp, one of the best at that backside tackle. And Mark May, he's the old warrior. He'll be 34 in November. Harrison Hurst. Hurst able to get to the 30. We're very close to the first down. He needed to get to the 31 and a half. Last week, he carried the ball 22 times for 76 yards. Casillas and Maryland, though, starting. They've been battling back from injuries. Haley's the guy that just stirs it up. Robert Jones, second-year guy, started as a rookie. Ken Norton leading them in tackles thus far. And Darren Woodson, this is the guy that's really gotten the attention of Jimmy Johnson. He says he's everything I wanted. It was a first down to the 32-yard line. Again, it's Hurts. They want to establish him early. It's and he'll take it out to the 39. That's a pretty good way to establish a runner, isn't it? As he looks good that time. He sees the field so well. They talk of seven on the last play, second and three. Burline with time. Near sideline. Ricky Pro makes the catch, and that'll be a first down. Pro will go out at the 48-yard line of Phoenix. Larry Brown over to make the stop. Ricky Prohl is a quality receiver, but when you give a guy this much cushion on a, on a second and short yardage, three or, three or four yards, you get a, it's just easy takings, easy pickings for a first down. Now to answer Dallas's initial drive. Here's Hurst. Tony Tolbert had him. He got away from him. And Hurst gets to the 45 on a remarkable second effort. Darren Woodson eventually made the tackle after Hurst ran out of Tolbert's arms. Second down and four from the 45. Burline, far side, Prohl again, and Prohl has a first down catch. Ricky Prohl will be grounded short of the 35 by Thomas Everett. That's Butch Roll in motion. Fleischer up the middle, Burline trying to get out of it, he won't. Russell Maryland wrestles him down. The pressure coming up the middle, chased him, flushed it out of the play, and Maryland then was able to finish it, and a loss back to the 45-yard line. Back from that, third and 19. That is Randall Hill in, number 81 in motion. Burline over the middle, flag on the play. Larry Centers makes the catch. He's to the 39 of Dallas, but there's a penalty flag thrown at the feet of Burline, and let's see what this is all about going to be holding against Phoenix. So they 7-0 lead, and they get the football for the second time. From the 20, into round reverse. Kevin Williams and the rookie from Miami of Florida brings it out to the 30, just short of the first down. John Booty reacting finally. <laughs> this guy has such speed. He's around a 4-2-40 guy. He And he appears to have the first down across the 30 to the 31. So what? down from the 31 for the Cowboys. Seven nothing Dallas. Aikman, a lot of time going up top, far sideline. The ball is up, and the catch is made by Alvin Harper. A sliding grab, and that was a remarkable catch. He had a defender all over him. A 44-yard grab to the 25-yard line of Phoenix. Make this adjustment. But Alvin Harper has made this Cowboy team a much more difficult team to defend because now you can throw him any kind of route, and now he'll adjust to the ball. It's not just catching the perfectly thrown pass, it's the one that's not thrown so well, and yet you... Novacek in motion, Lassick carrying the football, breaking tackles, he gets five as he takes it to the 20. Field goal, forced a field goal attempt. You get so many windows of opportunity, and they need to take advantage of it. Third and five. Aikman, far side, Novacek, and Novacek ties for the first down, and he got it. Novacek able to get inside the 15 yard line. John Booty finally caught up with him. Here's a guy last year that led all tight ends with 68 catches. Aikman on a second and nine, being flushed out, being chased. Shows how strong he is. Chris Oldham eventually knocks him out of bounds. He may have picked up a yard at all of that scramble, so we're going to come to a third down, and the Cardinals want to put a stop on right here. That's 
Isaac in motion. Here is Gaynor, and Gaynor thunders forward. He is about a yard short of a first and goal. He needed to get to the four. He stopped just short of the five. It's fourth down coming up. This guy is big. He weighs 240 pounds, and Nick Lowry has scored more. This will be a 23-yard attempt. And Eddie Murray was able to put three points on the board. 10-0, Dallas. 12 minutes left to go in this first half, and the Cardinals hoping to answer. They pick up the blitz, a give to Garrison Hurst, and no place to go. Darren Woodson, who played collegiately here in the same stadium for Arizona State, was there to make the stop. There was a hole there for a moment, but Darren Woodson, number 28, closed that hole very quickly. I mean, there was something good about to happen until the strong safety. But as you were mentioning, Gary, uh, Jimmy Johnson said, hey, this guy can do everything. I mean, Ricky Prohl goes in motion. Third line over the middle. Catch is made beautifully by Johnny Bailey, and he fights his way to a first down. That is a big catch for this Cardinal team. Quick hitch, far side, and Gary Clark makes his first catch, but no place to go because Larry Brown was on top of him instantaneously. It's a moment ago by Burline on that little pass intended for Hurst. Gain a two. Gary Guerre is in motion for the Cardinals. Burline trying to set up a screen. He gets it off to Garrison Hurst. Hurst trying to find some running room. Able to get close to the 35. Charles Haley doubling back to make the tackle number 94. Down the long four. Misdirection hand off to Bailey. He's got the first down. And Johnny Bailey now has made two very important plays on this drive. Both of them coming up on third down. And he's got the ball out to the 43-yard line. Now have a first down at the 42. Side catch is made by Clark. Clark trying to fight for additional yardage and a flag then thrown very late. And Luis Sharp is upset about something. Game. Second down now, 15 yards to go. Burline on target to Randall Hill, the fastest wide receiver for the Cardinals. He's got the catch to the 49 yard line. Gain of 10, but they're still short of the first down. in motion. Burline trying to screen over the middle and Johnny Bailey this time will not get it done on third down. And because Darren Woodson, the strong safety, stayed home and fought off a blocker, made the stop. Fourth down for Phoenix. The Cowboys. Aikman over the top. It's Harper again. And Harper wearing the Cardinals out. He makes another catch. That's a 17-yarder. That's why he started the ball game, a 17-yarder. Out to the 39. I would think second down and nine after that last carry by Gaynor. Novacek comes in motion. Aikman takes a shot, gets rid of the ball, and the completion is from Irvin, and Michael Irvin is out of bounds at the 38-yard line of Phoenix. A 22-yard gain on the play. If Michael Irvin is a strong, strong guy at the line, at line of scrimmage. I mean, he'll use his hands, he'll use his feet to get open. And this, this Dallas offense is in sync tonight. And North Turner, the offensive coordinator, is calling a great game. He going for 10 in a row and almost got it. That's pretty good defense at time by Lorenzo Lynch on Michael Irvin. Lynch did not start because of the groin, but he kicked it, yeah. did it? Third down, they lost some yardage. Third down and a long 10, 10 and a half. Blitz coming up the middle. Aikman gets rid of it, and a very good play that time defensively on the far side by Steve Lofton. Lofton racing over, batted the ball down. He's their fastest corner, and he saved a long completion, and it'll bring up fourth down. We took over the punting chores after Mike Saxon punted for eight years. He hits this one very high. Johnny Bailey's going to let it hit. And it'll go sideways and then inside yeah. the five. And that ends up being a superb punt. You know, he had five of eight punts inside the 20 prior to that one. He's had no touchback. Yeah, I like that. And he's got a good face mask. Look at that. I love it. He looks like a player. 
Looked like we had some movement, but I don't see a penalty flag. Burline sprinting in the end zone. Gets out of there, throws to Randall Hill. They fight for it. A penalty flag, and we're going to have pass interference. That was back into Steve Burline. The top of the screen pass there, he just pushes Sharp away. He's 280, but Burline is, is an athlete. I mean, he can move around a little bit. You know, and he gives an athletic receiver, Randall Hill, a chance. Gives him an opportunity. And Hill's going to make a good adjustment. Yeah, he's just getting held. Yeah. It's a good call. Well, they put it up and made something happen. That ends up being a 37-yard penalty. Moves the ball out to the 41. The rookie out of Pittsburgh State, who's played remarkably well. Burline far side. Clark had it for a moment, and Larry Brown jars and loose the ball being fought for. Now, has that been ruled incomplete? It has. No fumble. Gary Clark did not have possession on the far side. And third down and seven. Burline buying time to Derek Ware, and he dropped it. Derek Ware, who has the only catch among the tight end core for Phoenix. That being a 13-yarder last week, drops the ball. By 10 points in a home crowd. Throw it up there. Give the guys a chance. Jimmy Johnson's team with a 10 to nothing lead over Joe Bugle. And the Cowboys have been very impressive. Halftime show coming up. The first drive was just precision as far as Dallas was concerned. Aikman did not miss a pass. He used three different receivers on that drive that covered 80 yards in 11 plays. And we wanted to highlight kind of an unusual thing here, a guy that maybe you don't notice that much, Daryl Johnston, the fullback. And first, we're going to show him as a receiver coming out of the backfield. He's number 48 here going right out in the flat. And, and you're right, I think Daryl Johnston is the most overlooked player on this Cowboy team. He's not a guy that extends plays and turns, you know, uh, five-yard passes into 15-yard plays, but he makes plays like that. And then when he's not catching the ball, he's going to throw a lead block. This time he throws it on, on number 90, Stowe, the uh, middle linebacker, and that allows Lassick to pick up some yards. And then when you need a lead block for a touchdown run, you call on Daryl Johnston again. This time on 52, Wallerstedt, the middle linebacker, and Lassick follows him in. So, you know, he didn't, you know, carry the ball up in that drive, caught the pass, passes, but he was the key in my mind to the touchdown. The Moose is what they call him, Daryl Johnston. So the Cardinals will start the second half with a football. Aldo Reeves goes in motion. Irvine starts out with a pass completion to Larry Centers, and Centers brings it out to the 30, the three yards short of the first down. So Walter Reeves goes in motion again, pitch back to Garrison Hurst, trying to find some place to go, and I don't think he got the first down. He needed to see him. Lee fractured the ankle. He heard it back in uh, camp earlier as Burline comes up. Completion, and the catch is made by guess who? The guy who was a go to the first half, Derek Ware. Now, wait a minute. There is a flag on the play back at the 50-yard line. That was a much tougher catch than the yeah. one he dropped in the first half. That's a 27-yard gain. We've got 12 men on the defense. Penalty is declined. Pass completed. Cool. First Still down. couldn't stop it. But you're right. The one thing is, hey, they come back to Derek Ware. And what did we say? Burline was saying something to the effect that Derek to Derek Ware after he dropped that pass. Hang in there. I'm going to need you in the second half. So Ware goes in motion. First, look at the seam vision that he has, the ability to find the hole. And he gets inside the 40 to the 37 to gain a five. Burline with time. Ricky Prohl on the receiving end at the 30. And Prohl's got the first down to the 28 of Dallas. And Prohl, who made two strong catches in the first half, comes back again. Darren Woodson made the stop before the Cowboys. Three catches now for 28 yards for Ricky Prohl. Second down and nine. Burline deflected in the air. And it is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Kevin Smith. And that's exactly what you said, Pat Hayden. Don't let that kind of thing happen. And it was up for grabs, and Kevin Smith with his second interception of the season. Well, this is not Burline's fault. Good defensive coaching by Butch Davis. You know, the Cowboys have ever always gotten their hands up. They've always deflected a lot of passes. And when you do things like that, you set defensive backs up for interceptions.
The way the Cowboy defense is playing, ideally, I think you hold them out, give them a week off, you have two weeks to get ready for Green Bay. End around reverse to Michael Irvin, and Irvin is going to get across the 35, very close to the first down, a run out of bounds by Lorenzo Lynch. Number 61, who leads the way in the reverse, and he just kind of seals off the inside. If he doesn't get that block on John Booty, there's a no gain for Michael Irvin. He picks up nine instead. Classic trying to get the first down. There's a penalty flag, two of them. He had enough for the first down, but let's see if it stands. Upside, number 79 defense. Five yard penalty, first down. That's Keith Rucker, all 360 pounds of him. You know, he's off stairs we're talking about, has been lifted. First down 10. Troy Aikman on a play action fake. Near sideline, Harper, and Harper comes up with a catch. Alvin Harper is having a big night for this Dallas team. That'll be a 41-yard gain just short of the 15. Elway, Marino, Troy Aikman, because they had double coverage. First, you have to get off the line. You have to adjust like Alvin Harper has. Now, there's a safety coming over. That's Chuck Cecil. But it was a pump fake by Aikman, and then he drills it in, in front of the safety. Ooh. Really played well. What they say he loves to go deep? Well, he did there. Here is Lassick. Lassick to the 10, to the outside, the 5, diving for the end zone. He did not get in. He did not get in, but what an effort by the rookie from Alabama. 13-yard gain. They're going to mark it at the 2-yard line. Blocks like he's going to get again from 48, the fullback, Johnston. I mean, he's going full speed, knows exactly who he's going to get. Knocks, he takes out Stowe, knocks him off his feet. Now Chuck Cecil said he may not be Emmett Smith when he was talking about Lassen. Flood him a year ago on the national championship team. Here he goes again, fighting for the goal line, and he has scored his second touchdown of the night. You will not see Emmett Smith tonight. You will not play. The big 41-yard completion to Harper, setting it up first and goal, and now defending world champions. And they're celebrating like they did in Pasadena in the Super Bowl. Fine for the Cowboys have really played well tonight. Watch what they do today. They actually seal off this whole side, and the run's going to cut back here because of the, uh, the, the, the surge and the push. Two and A's, number 71, Stepnoski's 53, Golden gets his man. And then Lassick runs through the hands of the arm tackle of Bra uh, Bankston. And the offensive, yeah, well. Emmett who? Yeah. He'll be back. <laughs> and he'll still have a, a big year. But 37 to go, third quarter. Late handoff to Garrison Hurst. Hurst fights his way out to the 27-yard line. He's going to be a star in the league. Parcells has lost two games decided by field goals. Here is Burline to Randall Hill. Hill's got it. Hill into the 20-yard line area. They're going to roll him down. He gets up and runs. Kevin Smith touched him as they're going to mark it at the 16. 57 yards to Randall Hill. It didn't look like Randall Hill was going to be able to get there. But then he sees it. He turns it on right there. And, you know, then he did a pretty smart thing. He got up and ran it in. Now, it was out of bounds. They called him down. But it was a little burst as soon as he saw the ball. And, you know, they've been looking for a spark all day, and they've gotten one right now from where. Quick slant, complete to Gary Clark. And pretty good coverage again, this time by Kevin Smith. They moved Clark to this side, getting away from Larry Brown. <laughs> yeah. Pressure off Gary Clark. They need to get on the scoreboard. Trailing 17 to nothing. Burline, they get a lot of time. Deep in the corner, Ricky Pearl, diving catch, touchdown, Phoenix. Maybe we'll see Emmett Smith. have gone badly for the Cardinals in the first half of this game, but he hung in there. And he hung in there. On the scoreboard. Gary, this is a perfectly uh, executed pass. Here's Hill. He runs a hook route. The corner comes here. So Prohl then can, has plenty of room to run the corner route. See, when Larry Brown comes up to cover uh, Hill, it creates an open area there for Prohl to get the back to the end zone. And and Prohl knew where he was, didn't he? Funny, as soon as they score, how the, yeah, the, the reflection of the game changed. So now they start with their worst field position of the night from the six. And Emmett Smith, back to back, the NFL rushing champion, comes in, gained over 1,700 yards last year. Two years ago, a career high 182 yards against the Cardinals. 
Aikman throwing from the goal line comes out and makes the connection. This is Michael Irvin stepping out of bounds and picking up a first down and an 11-yard gain on the play. Well, you know, that's 206 yards passing. Here he goes, his first carry of the year, Emmett Smith, and the crowd reacting to that as Keith Rucker was there first to make the stop. This crowd realizing now the number 22 has entered the football game. Aikman back again. Completes it to Johnston. Johnston, Bulldog down at the 30. Another first down. Lorenzo Lynch was the first there. A lot of white shirts had to wrestle down this former Syracuse standout. We have a man down for the Cardinals. We'll check the injury. We're going to take a break. Oh, geez. <laughs> Four fifty-seven left to go in this third quarter. First down now for the Cowboys after that catch by Johnston. 442 left in the third. Aikman. Complete to Johnston again. And Johnston will be run out by Aeneas Williams. We been going here for the Cowboys. Gain of eight on that last play. Reuben Davis up and off the field a while ago. Pitch comes to number 22, and Emmett Smith is still going. Inside the 50. The nifty, shifty kind of runner that can break tackles. I mean, a lot of guys will try to outrun you. Some guys are bulls, but he can do both. And he doesn't stop. And you're right, he hasn't worn football, a football uniform since January. 50. Aikman, pressure coming from Freddie Joe now. Complete to Smith. And Smith is tackled very nicely in the open field by Lorenzo Lynch. But you see how strong Smith was? Even though Lynch made the stop, he fell forward and got a couple of more yards on the play. Aikman. Emmett Smith, and Smith will go out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Lorenzo Lynch over there to knock him out. And I think make him a, a very unique play. Let me correct something. That was a quarterbacks combined on the 36 passes and only six incompletions. Derek Gaynor now is coming to the backfield. Aikman, quick slant, completion to Harper. That's his sixth catch of the night. A skin down and seven yards to go. Started at the six yard line, and it's almost intercepted by Lorenzo Lynch. Got to make those plays if you can beat the Cowboys and step up, Gary. Aikman double pumping under pressure, and the ball is up incomplete. Harper almost made a touchdown catch. Lynch was there. They were fighting for it in the very extreme corner of the end zone. A great attempt by Eddie Murray. The kick on the way, it's very low, and the kick is no good. So Murray does not add to the Cowboys' advantage. 48 seconds left in the third quarter. Dallas on top by 10. Field. Murline setting up a screen to Hurst, and he's knocked down immediately. That's Haley again, Charles Haley, who runs so very well, so explosive. And that time reading the screen, and they lose a yard on the play. Second down, 11. The backfield, they go to their posse offense, three wideouts. Over the middle, Gary Clark. Clark on a third and 11 gets a first down. He's still fighting for yardage. They're going to mark the ball at the 47 of Dallas. 21-yard gain, and that is the end of the third quarter. And the Cardinals are very much alive in this football game. Bailey in the backfield. Johnny Bailey makes a nice first move, and he's going to get some yardage. He's to the 40-yard line. He made that first man miss, and Darren Woodson over there eventually made the tackle. I miss, or inside, make the first guy miss, and you got a chance. Picked up seven, second and three, misdirection. Bailey with a first down run. So they've gone now to what they call the three wide out package with Bailey in the backfield. Journey's face gets rid of it. Randall Hill makes the catch. Just missed the first down as he went out of bounds. And Randall Hill showing the quickness. In 92, he was second in the NFL's fastest man competition. And Bailey again to get it. And Bailey does just that. So they go to a smaller back, and Bailey only weighs 190 pounds. They've earlier had Garrison Hurst and Ron Moore, the big backs. But with Bailey in there, he's been very effective. 
As the unpile down there, they have the first down. The blitz is coming. Burline to Clark. Nice move at the 15 and Clark to the 10. The blitz was from the top of the field. Burline read it. Hit on the near side Clark. An 11-yard pickup. It's left in the game. Bailey again. Bailey takes it to the six. It'll be second down there. They can get a first and goal just inside the one-yard line. Burline to Bailey. Bailey inside the five. Moving the pile a little bit. It'll be third down and still a long two for a first and goal. Burline looking in zone. Broken up. A pass intended for Ricky Pro. He had double coverage. It's a fourth down. Darren Woodson was there, number 28. Open. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that could have been interference yeah. there by Woodson because the ball was in the air. Right as Pro was trying to make a move on it. I and mean, then he called for the interference. I think he should have gotten it. Davis's kick is on the way, and they whittle the lead. 17-10. After trailing by 17, they're now down by seven points. Play action by Aikman. Aikman, that ball deflected and incomplete. Somebody at the line of scrimmage, I think that was Warren Bankston. That's who it was. He got a hand on it. And 15 now for Dallas. Novacek in motion. Aikman got time up the field complete the catch is made by Michael Irvin and they've got the first down they needed Aikman back he throws as he's hit almost picked up. he was really nailed when he released the ball he's getting up slowly that was Steve Lofton on the deflection it almost came up with the interception fourth down Dallas Burline and the catch no it was not made that was Anthony Edwards who had to come in in Clark's absence, could not hang on. And Burline wants to go for it, but he's not the head coach. And Joe Bugle trailing by seven is going to punt it away. We can see uh, some unusual people here today. <laughs> From the 15-yard line, pitch back to Emmett Smith. Smith bursts out of there. He's got the first down and then some at the 32. Hey, take Nate Newton out to dinner, Emmett, because Nate Newton does a heck of a job of kicking out for him. Taking it to the 31. First down. There's an end around reverse. Michael Irvin with the ball, and he's going to lose yardage. Good reaction by John Booty, one of the Fab Four that Pat was talking about, one of the four free agents they signed. And Booty, the former Philadelphia Eagle, read it well, and they'll lose yardage back to the 28 yard line. <laughs> Second and 13. Blitz is coming. They pick it up. The pass is completed somehow to the 35 to Harper. He hangs on. It's going to bring up a third down and six. But the blitz was picked up. Oldham was blitzing from the near side, and they picked it up. On a third and six, Aikman in trouble. Gets rid of the ball. And the completion to Gaynor. And Gaynor diving forward, and he may have the first down. He does. And number 22 is there, too. And here he is, Emmett Smith. Smith runs through one tackle, and he's gang tackled, short of the 45. Lassick, and Lassick inside the 40 to the 37. Gain of five, second down, and the clock now stopped with 2.43 remaining in the ball game. Now with 2.43 left, they have it at the 37 of Phoenix. Not much going on that play for Emmett Smith then was cut. They brought in eight kickers. Murray won the kicking derby, and he's warming up on the far sideline. Third down. Yeah, this Nova check. Did he get the first down? Yep. He got just enough. He was dragged out of bounds and had enough to get the first down on the third and three. Gary, how much of the evening, but it was for a big first down. Yeah. No, my deal. You got to go back before this because he catches it. He catches it right. He catches it right there. That's a first down when he catches it. Yes, Gary Clark said, you know, we have to prove that we're a good team. Well, we weren't able to get it done tonight. They were a team that gave the Cowboys some problems, but they didn't beat them.
And what is that old story? You still enjoy W-I-N-N-I-N-G. Don't tell me about all the character building situations. So Jimmy Johnson's team has won their first of the year. 17-10, Dallas. We'll be back with some final thoughts here from Sun Devil Stadium. Emmett Smith with his debut in the 93 season. 63 day holdout makes his debut. He carries the ball eight times for 45 yards and one catch for three yards. But our Cadillac player of the game is Alvin Harper. Harper with career highs of both catches and yards. Six catches for 136 yards. And so the Cowboys have won their first game of the year. They have a week off to get ready for Green Bay. And the Cardinals with a missed opportunity here before a sellout record crowd of 73,025 go also to one and two. 17-10 the final. Dallas over Phoenix. For Pat Hedden, I'm Gary Bender. So long, everybody.